or the guy just showing what were you doing in the park after you went in it? right okay yeah and you're standing up at a park what was finna go on in that park mm -hmm. and so the officer must have detected because they're like you said there's only a a little bit mm -hmm. of the video so you know we're we're sitting here you know pre analyzing i'm not gonna say judge because i'm yeah. in no room to judge okay anybody, right right so yeah. we're pre-analyzing their situation right with the police officer mm -hmm. so but what i did find out um was that it's not illegal for you not to sign that does not mean no. you're going you should go to jail no right you will get right. the ticket you like you said whoever she might have been dealing with or whoever he was dealing with they will say, why did you get a ticket in Atlanta? Went off to the off the rails, started working with government contracting, doing that stuff with the camera, worked with Amtrak, um, started getting a whole lot of business in that situation. So okay. the biggest thing was the government contracting what made me get to the book because they started using me as like the poster child. They started saying, all right, well, um, we this is how we help minorities get business. And so I was mm -hmm. around different parts of South Carolina you know, being at these functions, speaking, talking about how my business is and how the city, the state and the county was helping me get business. But they were saying it's for minorities, but we weren't there. So I got the contract. I'm filming and shooting me and my crew, but they're not there. So I saw that need and I created the company. I won't starve at that time. Okay. And so what I did was I partnered with the government you know, local, state, and um, federal government to bring those people, bring minorities there so they could actually get the information that they wasn't getting at these functions that they were hiring me to shoot. So I'm saying that to say that no, it's not realistic that you you should be able to wear what you want. Yeah, if you, you buy, if you, if you want to, if you want to purchase things for yourself that you've worked very hard for, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. You should mm -hmm. buy it, but we're mm -hmm. not living in real times right now. Anyway, no. everybody's on emotional kicks. Everybody's broke. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's going, it's, it's really, we have, we're falling on hard times. And yeah, the people that sold the people that sold the jewelry, they're gonna get caught right away by even selling oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. So you want a charm piece? You took a life for some raggedy, no weak ass rings. It's jewelry for rings, you're right? That, like you're, you're, that, you're that thirsty. You know, what I'm a saying? life was it's more sad. valuable. Of a life was his life was way more valuable than those rings. It was, it and was, his poor was. daughter has to grow up without him. Mm -hmm. All because somebody didn't want to go out and go work for what he had and do more. Or I'm thinking a lot of these young adults, right, they doing stuff for clout, thinking it's a a, a big thing, you know. Oh, I, I robbed a ro rapper. He Some robbed a rapper, but here's the here's the thing. Exactly. What I what I wish that PNB Rock would have paid attention to was give it up. You could get more. Mm -hmm. you know I think that um, maybe he didn't give it up because of the embarrassment or you just didn't want to get fronted on in front of your girl but now your up. life is taken mm -hmm. now you're gone mm -hmm. and they're mad at the girl for posting but she obviously been used to doing so she does it a lot gears over to the NFL to the girl oh, yes. that was on the podcast talking about she took down four NFL players in a weekend, right? mm -hmm. in a week, mm -hmm. and three, three of them Kansas them City, Kansas City player of. NFL so imagine players. what that conversation was about. Three dudes on the same team, right? We're talking about you, and mm -hmm. then you had one. And this is what you only told us about, right? Right. Exactly. But she was so candidly. She was looked to be Spanish slash Caucasian, mm -hmm. female. And um, she was okay with it. She was like, oh, I got flued out. I got treated good. And I smashed them. Like, she was happy. Right? right. Like, you were cool to give your butt up for a plane ride. <laughs> then mm. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm you sure. You could have got on your own. Exactly. All these deals going around, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ben Crump 
made the statement in front of numerous of people saying that, yeah, you get, if not half, a nice percentage of the GoFund. A million dollars? Yeah, they, they accumulated a million dollars in that GoFund. Yeah. And in that was you know what? I would have created my own GoFund. See, at that age, I would have said, you know what? I, I have my own for my child. Right, right. I mean, that, but I mean, she wasn't thinking of that because it was traumatic, right? Yeah. Traumatic situation going, baby daddy getting killed in front mm-hmm. of, you know, the video is going around the world. Mm-hmm. All of us watch it. All of us saw it. And then to think now, I know it had to be embarrassing for her to even have to go downtown to Hennepin County to even find even her intentions. I'm pretty sure that someone put her up to it. Hopefully her parents. Girl, I just cannot talk in front of a camera. Wow. You know, I hate taking pictures. You t- so yeah, I just started taking what pictures in the last so many months now. You had so- one of the hardest jobs growing up. Hanging out, getting money amongst a whole lot of people. That was you were back never in afraid of competition. That was back in the day. Well, that should still be in your inner <laughs> self, right? You should not be scared of anything. <laughs> Oh gosh! Now I'm just I'm cool now. It's, okay. I don't, I've been in front of the camera. It's, it's all Gucci now. But okay, guys, you have to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. You have to because you think you can do it on your own. It's no. not gonna work. You got to have somebody to help you, and that's in all aspects of life. That's even doing hair, being a seamstress, doing fashion, whatever. Right. It's always somebody that could do something different than you, and you need to be learning that from somebody else. Right. You know, a lot of people get arrogant and think, "Oh, I went to cosmetology school. That's all I need to do." No, you need to go ahead and get ed- continuing education, yes. fashion, continuing education, podcasting, continuing education, <laughs> and that's what we're doing. Okay. We're gonna bring you some good stuff. Okay. So don't, don't y'all gonna see? Y'all gonna see some more upgrades? Okay.